What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we are in the Gerudo Desert and we're going to go and do a side quest in here called the Iceless Ice House. And this one is in a location that we've been to before and it's like in the middle of the desert, very very close to Gerudo Town. So where you need to go now is to Gerudo Town and then you kind of like uh, glide over to where it is. The Ice House is actually uh, North Gerudo Ruins. So let's travel over to the Soritorn Nog uh, Shrine and then uh, we can kind of like glide down to where this Ice House is. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a member or a regular, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. So the S house is going to be there. Just mark it with a pin. It's after all those ruins up there. It's right at the other end, as you can see over there. And then what we need to do is kind of like glide down and you can make our way over there. Oh yeah, I mean, you can get a sand seal when you can uh, kind of like use the sand seal to go down there. I decided to just... Uh, glide over as much as I could and then just uh, run all the way over there. I sped up some of the running because I've already marked it on the map, you know exactly where it's going to be and I didn't speed it up too fast so you can still kind of like uh, catch up with me and see exactly where I'm going. I just tried to make the video a, a little bit smaller in order to um, in order to not bore you with every with you know going around uh, walking all this distance because it's quite a long way so when we get when you get in here you can see that there's like a um, latch in here it's like a, a, a swing door that you can go inside and the ice house is going to be at the bottom but obviously there is no ice it's just water so the reason why you're here to create some ice an ice block so uh, you speak to Angie and she will tell you that uh, this is a, a nice house without ice and uh, she she would want a block of ice to be put in two specific locations, kind of like a bed. Uh, and uh, she needs uh, the ice block to be there because obviously it's, it gets quite warm in here. So side quest, the iceless ice house. All we need to do really is just get your bow out and then just shoot an arrow with a cold element. So say something like an ice fruit or white choo-choo. Uh, white choo choo jelly works really well. Shoot it against the water and that's it. You got a block of ice straight away. But the only problem is that she wants it to be uh, to be put in a, in a location where it's a lot narrower. So we kind of like need to reduce the size of this ice block in order to do. I mean, you can make a fire down here or you can use the fire outside, which, which is what I did. Kind of like uh, it's quite a big block. So what we need to do is kind of uh, just put it at an angle in here. And then we just pass over uh, through this uh, doorway here and then just go up the stairs just kind of like tilt it towards you as well so you can kind of like go all the way up to the top then when we get in here we just put the ice block on top of the fire to reduce its size uh, it'll start melting anyway because it's quite warm outside but in order to speed up the process you just you can just come over to the fire and just put it on top of the fire and try to reduce its size Till about that, you know, about a little bit bigger than the, the dimensions of the actual fire itself. And then all you need to do is come down here and uh, put it in this bed in here. So as long as it fits in here, that's all you need to do. Then go and see her and that is it. That's completely, that concludes the quest. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. If you'd like to know how I make my YouTube videos, how I work with video, audio, what techniques I use, what I've learned along the years, you can become a member that will give you access to a series of videos that are created for members and uh, another seven days worth of videos because I upload everything a week in advance so you'll be able to see some more Tears of the Kingdom and any other game that I'm uploading at the time. Uh, seven days, you know, of content that has not been on YouTube for the general public. So I guess that's it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.